What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the best places to learn SQL in 2025. If you're watching this, you most likely know how important it is to know SQL. And so what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna show my screen. I'm gonna show you some of the best places to learn SQL that I've used over the past seven or eight years. So let's not waste any time and let's take a look. All right, so let's get started with one that most people know about, that's W3 Schools. I used this a lot when I was first getting started as a data analyst many years ago, and it's still around, and it's still very good. And basically what it does is it kind of walks you through different syntax, kind of how it works, different questions to help you learn it. And you can also write some of the code in here. So you can say, try yourself. It's gonna bring you to this little thing over here where you can then run your SQL and you can execute it on this little table in this little database. And this is really, really great. And they have so many lessons on tons of different things. I'm just gonna keep scrolling down because it's gonna take a while to get all the way down there. But there's a lot of different stuff that they have. And then down here, they have a lot of other options, including some training and syllabuses and exercises and quizzes. It's a fantastic resource to get started. Now, again, there's no videos on W3 Schools, so it's very simple. It doesn't go crazy in depth to any one topic, but it does give you exposure to a lot of different concepts, which is really great. Our next resource that I think is really good is SQL Bolt. Now, there's a lot of different websites like SQL Bolt, and basically it's just going to walk you through and give you different scenarios. And if you come in here, here, you can see the very first lesson says SQL lesson one, select queries 101. And if you click up here, you can see they have a ton of different options. And it's just a slightly different format than W3 School. They have different explanations and they kind of have a different way of walking through it. And again, no videos, so it's pretty simple. But again, you have this kind of interactive way to write the queries and you can mess around with it and you learn as you go. And when you're done with that, you can even move on to some of the intermediate SQL topics and subqueries and unions. And so this is another good place to get started if you want to do something completely different. This one's called Lost at SQL. Now, this is a SQL game, and I think that's really great. Now, there's a lot of different games out there, and I've tried many of them, even like the murder mystery SQL one that a lot of people rave about. I personally didn't like that one. This one I did like. I thought this one was actually a really good one. And uh, you don't have to do the intro. You can go right to the story mode. And they're going to walk you through this different scenario. And then as you go through it, you have to write queries and you have to solve it. So what you do is you come right down here. Once you kind of figure out what you're doing, you're going to go down. You're going to actually write your query. You're going to run your query and see if you get it correct. It even has this fun little uh, right, wrong, and error message right over here. And you get to solve kind of this story. And I think it's a really neat way to practice SQL. The next way that I recommend people learning SQL is actually downloading and just using SQL, not using any type of online format. So this is a download for MySQL. I'll have this in the description, but we can come right over here. And this is what MySQL looks like. And this is an actual database that you may use in your work. And so working with a real database, working with real data, this is, in my opinion, actually one of the better ways to learn SQL because this is what you'll actually be working in at a job. Maybe it's not MySQL, but maybe it could be Microsoft SQL Server, PostgreSQL, or some type of CRM, but you'll understand how to use it in a production environment, and that's really valuable. The next place to learn SQL is right on my YouTube channel, and this is my Learn SQL Beginner to Advanced Under 4 Hours. It is pretty good, and it includes uh, all these different data sets and a place to download my SQL. And I basically talk you and walk you through all the different things you need to know. And there's even projects at the end. So we have a full data cleaning project. It gets pretty advanced at times, uh, including exploratory data analysis project. And again, that one gets pretty advanced at times. And so uh, this is, again, just a really fantastic free resource. And this one is different from all the other ones because this is purely video based. OK, so I don't do any of the text based and stuff like this. If that's how you learn, these ones are going to be better. But I, this is all video based. I walk you through my logic. I even show you mistakes that I make and how to correct them. So for me personally, I'm a video learner. So like if you're a video learner, this is the best one to do. But if you're a text learner, these are by far much, much better. Now, after you learn SQL and you want to practice SQL, maybe you have an interview coming up and you know there's going to be a technical interview. You want to come in here and you want to make sure that you know what you're doing. You're ready for your interview. That's why I created AnalystBuilder.com. You can come in here for Margin Madness and you can practice MySQL, PostgreSQL, Microsoft SQL Server, whichever one you're working on. 
You can actually run the code and there's all sorts of different questions and different things that you can practice and learn. And it really is one of the best places to actually practice SQL once you know it a little bit. I'd also recommend taking my full course because if you like this four hour one from beginner to advanced, I have my uh, MySQL for Data Analytics course, which is over 11 hours. Then I have my advanced MySQL for Data Analytics course, which is another four hours with full projects. And these just go a lot more in depth. They are genuinely some of the best courses you're going to find on SQL on the planet. They're just a shameless plug for myself because I genuinely think these are one of the best places. If you're going to pay for anything, this is the best place to actually learn SQL out on the internet. And then lastly, I just recommend using Google. Go to best SQL resources and find something that you like. Maybe you want to type in game and you find best SQL resources games and you can look at what data lemur tells you or what reddit tells you google is one of the best resources in the world to find any sort of thing like this so i recommend just taking a look and finding something that you like because uh like down here we have things like data burst i've never done that one but we have lost at sql this is the one that i recommended so just go and take a look and see what you like because there's all sorts of different flavors and ways to learn sql all the resources that we talked about in this video will be in the description i hope that this was helpful if it was be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you next Thank you.